friends, my name is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you're all here. And if you're new here, I'm so happy you're joining me as well. I hope while you're here, if you like unboxing and try-ons, because that's one of the type of videos that I like to make, you'll consider subscribing. And as always, if you like this video, I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up. It really does help my channel grow. In today's video, I am so excited to share with you my very first Wantable unboxing and try on. I went ahead and I used the link of a fellow YouTuber to order my Wantable box. I used the link for, her name is Erica Dalmain. I hope I'm saying her last name correctly. But she does a lot of unboxings and try-ons and I think it's kind of interesting because it's, I'm tall and have issues with sleeves being too short and pants being too short. And I think Erica said like she's five foot so she has the opposite problem. So it's, it's fun for me to watch the different, you know, we, we struggle with um, similar issues but on the opposite ends of the spectrum. So I really enjoy her videos. I will go ahead and link her channel below if you haven't checked out her videos. I think you'd enjoy them as well. Okay, so as far as this Wantable box, I have no idea what is in here. They did not send me a preview, so it's going to be a complete surprise when we open it up. So why don't we go ahead and we'll get started and see what they sent me. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, this box, I they had a Home for the Holidays style edit that was available. I guess it's just one of the special ones that they offer during the different seasons. They have different special boxes. So that's the one that I ordered. So this is the Home for the Holidays style edition. And when I did open up the box and look at how cute it is, that tag on the, the sticker that says Styled for Tina. I just think that's a really sweet touch. Okay, so here is my bundle. Let's go ahead and see what they sent me. First, I guess this is probably the invoice and some information on Wannable and the return envelope. I'll go ahead and put all that over here. I will go ahead and I will tell you the prices and the names of all the pieces when I'm trying them on. And just a quick rundown of Wantable. It is just a on-demand style box so you can order one whenever you like. It's a $25 styling fee and it is credited towards anything that you purchase in the box just like most of the other style services. Okay the first thing is this little pouch here which I'm assuming is probably some jewelry. Oh these are cute. Look at those earrings. Those are adorable. They are definitely something I would wear. So depending on the price, they might be something that's staying with me. Like this. Oh my gosh, this feels lovely. Okay, this is a dark green, like a forest green cami, and it's got the little scallop edges. Oh my gosh, this is really cute. And it feels just very luxurious fabric. I'll have to see what the fabric content is that, but I really like this. The next thing is a sweater. Oh, it's a cardigan. It's cute. It's got, I don't know, they little, um, it's kind of open, you know, a little bit open weave. And it looks to be like it's cropped, so it's not a real long cardigan. But this is really cute, too. I'm excited to try that on. The next thing we have is a pair of jeans. And these look like they're called the Vervet brand. I've never seen these before. Um, it looks to me like they are straight leg. They're not a skinny. And I'm looking at the length and these are definitely going to be cropped on me even if they're not supposed to because they look pretty short. But we will go ahead and we'll try those on. Oh, this is a dress. I think there's supposed to be a belt. I hope maybe there is somewhere because I can see the little belt loops here, but I don't see a belt. But um, really pretty green and very shimmery. Look at the fabric. It looks like it's got like puffy sleeves. That could be interesting. We'll try that on. And this is a little sweater. Oh, this is cute. This is just, I think it's black. 
Um, it's got like the, the big oversized sleeves. It, it looks like it's not a real long sweater, but very cute, very soft. I feel like it's like, I feels like a cotton shaker knit sweater is what we used to call them years ago, but really cute. I like that. And the last thing, okay, what do we have here? All right, these are plaid pants, okay? These are definitely out of my comfort zone. If you've watched my channel for any length of time, you can kind of see that I don't do a whole lot of patterns even on the top. I'm really kind of particular about patterns that I like. And so patterned pants is something I don't have in my closet at all, but maybe it's gonna be something that I like. Um, they look to be a straight leg and also I don't know if these are supposed to be short because they look like they're going to be short on me But we will go ahead and try them The only thing I'm concerned about is that dress that they sent me it, You can see that it's supposed to have a belt, but I do not see a belt in here I hope I can find the belt in the box So just as a reminder for those of you that are new here my sizing is I am 5'9 and I've generally been taking a size 10 in pants and dresses and I generally prefer a size large in tops and sweaters because I just don't like a super clingy fit. Why don't we go ahead and I will try on all these pieces and let's hope we have some keepers here. Okay friends, I have the first outfit on. And these are the mid-rise ankle straight jean in medium blue, size 30 or 10, the Vervage brand. They are $68. And you can see from the length of these on me, I mean, these are hardly ankle. They are completely cropped, which I think in the summertime can be kind of a cute look with sandals but I'm not sure how I would wear these in the winter. I live in the Midwest and even with booties, having that much exposed skin on my leg would just be freezing. I would be so cold. So these aren't really a practical pair of jeans for the winter here, but they are a cute fit otherwise. I like, I, I'm a big fan of mid-rise jeans and they do fit nice. They've got not a ton of stretch, but just a little bit, but I think they fit nicely, you know, up at the waist. They do have the distressing above the one knee, but just on one leg. And I don't think they have any distressing on the back. No, it doesn't look like it. But I like the color. I am gonna have to watch this footage to see how I like this length on me, if it's you know flattering where it hits on my calf. But like I said, this would be really a pair of jeans that I would only wear in the summer time with sandals. I really can't see myself wearing these where I live in the winter time because I, I just don't want my calf exposed <laughs> that much to the cold. Okay, so that's the jeans. The sweater here, this is called the apricot brand it's the classic v-neck cardigan in stone and this is a size medium large and this is $68 and this was how um, the stylist and her name is Kimberly suggested wearing these but she did say a lot of these items in the box could be mixed or matched but so I've got it over the green little cami that I'll show you next but I, I'm not sure I like it with the cami, but I think this sweater in general is really cute. It is so soft, the weave of it. It is like just very cozy, really cute. I love the stone color because I think you could just wear, you know, a lot of different tanks or blouses under this that I think is really cute. I like the length. I do like the length. Like, and if I pull up the cami underneath, you can see. I think it's a cute length. So I'm really, really liking this sweater. This is, this is adorable. Okay, now I will take this off and I will show you the tank or the cami. Okay, so this is called Skies Are Blue Satin Scalloped Cami Top in Hunter Green. It's a size large and they say 10, 12. Well, I guess I've got the little hanger things out. Okay, um, 
I thought when I unboxed this that the way that it felt, I was like, oh my gosh, is this a silk cami? Because that is exactly how it feels. But it um, is 100% polyester, which was actually kind of surprising. But it's got a beautiful feel and a beautiful drape. I do think the color is pretty. I just, I'm not sure how much I would wear this. Um, I don't know. I, I think it's very lovely and very pretty. I do love the little scalloped, you know, neckline here. I think that's a really cute touch. It does have on the straps, they are adjustable, so you can adjust the, the length of the straps, which I think is a good thing too. Um, I do have a strapless bra on, which I hate to wear strapless bras. Sometimes you have to though. So I'm not, I don't know, I'm torn. What do you think about this cami? Do you think this is something that I could work into my wardrobe that would be worth keeping? And also let me know about the jeans, what you think about the length of these jeans on me. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and I will try on the plaid pants and sweater. Okay, friends, I have the next outfit on. And this sweater here is the Gentle Fawn brand Fonda Solid Pullover Sweater in H Spruce. It's a size large for $79. They are calling it spruce, but I think it's definitely black. I do. I really don't see any green. I don't think, can you see green on this? I can't. But really cute, cozy sweater. It's got like the big oversized sleeves, which are very popular nowadays. But I think the length is cute, and I really like how this sweater looks and feels. I really do like this sweater. All right, and now I have got it paired with the Liverpool Kelsey Knit Trouser in Black Evergreen, size 10, and these are $89. Well, let me get back so you can see the length. And you will see they are supposed to be ankle length, but obviously on me, they are even shorter than that. So I really don't know, because they're plaid, these would definitely be a pair of pants that I'd be wearing in the fall and winter. And I don't know how I would style this because like I said before with the crop jeans, I don't like that much of my you know, ankle or calf out in the elements where I live. It's just not practical. So I don't know how I would wear these, but if these were full length, I would snatch them up in an instant. I actually do like the plaid, which is surprising. Um, I think they're, it's like subtle enough, but they're cute and different enough that I like them. And I just love how they fit. They are mid-rise and they fit so nice around the waist. They've got the, you know, the pockets in the front. I think they do have um, the little like slash pockets in the back. But I think the fit of these is really great. I'm going to go ahead and I will pan down just so you can see the pattern a little bit better of these. And see the plaid which I actually think is really cute let me know what you think about these pants do you think the length is looks funny or how would you style them if you kept these pants in this you know if they fit you like they fit me how would you go ahead and style them because I'm actually surprised like I said I love the fit and I actually do like the plaid and the last thing in the box were these adorable earrings here. Let me tell you, they are the Delicate Threader Hoop Earrings in Silver, and they are $38. Here you can see. They're really cute because there's no back or anything on them. They just go right through your your hole and just hang there, but they're a different shape and I think they're really cute. I don't have anything like these, so I'm kind of debating about these earrings, but I'm curious to let you, I'm curious to know what your thoughts are on these pants and the sweater. Let me know. Okay, I will go ahead and I'm gonna try on the dress now. Okay, friends, I have the dress on and this dress here is by Hayden Los Angeles. It is the square neck belted metallic knit dress in sage size large for $68.
And when I was unboxing it, I told you that I thought there was a belt to go with it. And there is supposed to be a belt that goes with it. The same fabric, the same metallic fabric, like a sash belt. But there was no belt in my box. I looked through that entire thing. They did not include the belt. I tried upstairs in my closet to get some kind of belt that I could work with this dress, but I really don't have anything that, that go, remotely goes with this. And to be quite honest with you, this type of style of dress with the belted waist never really looks very flattering on me anyway. So it's probably something I should update on all of my style boxes because I do have like a thicker waist and so when I put just a belted sash around it, it just, it never really looks all that right. So, hi Lou. Um, so this dress, even if it had the belt, I don't think it would be the most flattering on me anyways. Um, also another thing, if it was belted, I think that the length, you know, it gets taken up a little bit and the length then would be very short on me, which is nothing I would be comfortable wearing. So this dress will be going back for sure. It does have really pretty touches. I mean, the color is really pretty and that, you know, metallic is, is fun and it would be really fun for a holiday party. And maybe if you've got, a, you know, you're, you're shorter than I am and you like this belted style, it might be a fun style and look really cute on some people. But for me, this is just, it wouldn't be right even with the belt, so this is definitely going back. And now I will be coming back with a wrap up and I'll let you know everything that I'm keeping from this box. Okay, friends, I am back. And the one, the, th the pieces that I am debating about are this, the black sweater. I am definitely taking this little stone card again. I thought this was really cute. I really liked that. The dress obviously is a no-go. And I am debating about this really pretty green cami. I, I really love the color of this and the feel of it is so nice. So this is what I'm debating about. So what do you think about that? The pants, the plaid pants, I have decided I, I'm not gonna take. I think the length is just a little too short for me. Um, and I don't, honestly, even though I like them, I don't know how much wear I would actually get out of something like this. So um, the plaid pants are going back. Although this, this was a surprise, and that's one of the fun things about these boxes is that you try things on that you would never pick off the rack when you were shopping at a store by yourself. So I did like the plaid pants, but they are going back. And these jeans, I looked at the footage and if these had been full length jeans, I would have scooped them up. I loved the fit of these. I think they were flattering on me except for the length. And like I said, I could possibly wear these in the spring and summer, but I don't know if I want to buy a pair of jeans now that I can't wear until the spring or summer, so I think the jeans are going back. And then these really sweet earrings, I think I might have to keep these. I just love these, and I like that I don't have any earrings like these at all in my, my jewelry box, so I think these are cute. So I think that is what I'm doing. Let me know what you think in the comments. Once again, I'm always so grateful that you take time out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you all and I will see you next time. Bye.